Hello, welcome. Happy Monday evening, everybody. My name is Ali with Vega Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here this evening for some general knowledge trivia. We're going to get into this game in just a moment. Before we do, make sure that you've joined our online game system. You won't be answering here on YouTube. You'll be answering via our interactive website. Very simple to join. You can either click on the link that we posted on Facebook or open up your internet browser and go to online.vegatricks.com. Put in the code TRICKS, T-R-I-C-K-S. Once you are there, you will see a login screen that looks just a little bit like this. It's going to ask you for four pieces of information. Now, only one of them is required. That's the very first one where it says enter your nickname. Whatever you put on that first blank is what your team name is going to be for tonight's competition. Second and third, it's asking for the city and the state that you're participating from. And last but not least, if you have one, your Bag of Tricks loyalty program number if you don't you can sign up for free by clicking the link in the description of this video once you've got that filled out go ahead and click on go you'll see this screen that says the game will begin shortly and that's just what will happen the game will begin shortly in the meantime i'll wait sure uh wait and make sure that we have everybody else logged on to this site All right, all right, all right. Uh, so once again, thank you guys for being here. Tonight is General Knowledge Trivia, our first of the week. We'll be back on Friday for another edition of General Knowledge Trivia, just like tonight. Thank you to everybody that's been joining us over the last uh, year or so. We really appreciate it. Um, tonight's game is free to play. However, if you feel so inclined, we certainly do love and appreciate any and all tips that you guys decide to send or donations, whatever you'd like to call them. Uh, the links will be down in the corner there all evening via Venmo or Quick Pay, now called Zelle, I guess. Uh, there's also a PayPal link, I believe, in the description of the video. So thank you to those of you that have donated in the past, those of you that donate tonight. Uh, I've said this since the beginning, we're putting these events on for free, so it seems weird to ask for donations, but those donations are what allow us to continue to put these events on for as long as possible, because uh, unfortunately the platforms that we use, we do have to pay for, and, and this allows us to do that. So thank you to everybody that's donated at any point. Uh, we really appreciate it. With that said, we do have a lot of in-person events this week as well. So as I've said, we're going to continue hosting online events for the foreseeable future, but things are getting up and running, uh, at least here in Illinois, once again, slowly but surely. So if you're in the suburban land of Chicago or actually in the city proper, we do have trivia events for you Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and on Sunday. Um, you can find the full list on our website and on our Facebook page on the events. I will say it's easier to check it all out on the website. You can search through the calendar by city, uh, by, by all these different, you can search for office trivia, a lot of stuff on our website that you can't do easily on Facebook. So do make sure you check that out if you're looking for something to participate in in person at a brewery or a restaurant. Um, yeah, uh, so please do join us. Uh, with that said, tonight's game is going to kick off here in just a moment. As I've mentioned a few times, this is general knowledge trivia. That means questions about anything and everything. Some of these questions will be simple. Some of them will be tough. We're going to have a few different rounds of trivia this evening. We're starting out with multiple choice trivia, which means I will ask you a question. Once I start the question timer, you'll see four options appear on the screen. One of those will always be the correct answer. Three of them will be incorrect answers. If you answer correctly, you will earn up to 150 points based on how quickly you answer. So the sooner you lock in that answer, the more points you'll earn. But be careful because once you click on an answer, you can't switch to a different answer. If you click on A, you're locked in for that question on A. On the opposite end of that spectrum, though, if you have no idea what the answer may be, do take a guess because you don't lose any points for being wrong. So no excuses to ever leave it blank. 
Uh, with that said, we're going to dive into this first question because the first question tonight, as always, is our practice question. All that means is that this is not actually worth any points. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this question is just for fun. This is just so everyone can see how the system works. Do you remember when the Ninja Turtles like went on tour? You could like see no, them. No, yeah. um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, here's our practice question. What is the name of your host today? Me. What is my name? Is it Ralph? Leo? Mike or Ali? Raph. I should say Raph. He's not Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph. Um, Joe Flaherty needs to see the ears. Oh, yeah. It, where is he? He's by the door. I figure maybe you just hold him on camera for a second. Oh, I'll bring him over here in a little bit. Here's Taco. That's the wrong camera then. Uh, I'll bring Pierre on camera in a little bit. He's, uh, he's walking around right now. He's a little antsy. Uh, who else is out here? Hey, Emma. Kim Wheatley. Hello. I'll see you tomorrow. Christiane. Hello, my friend. Uh, Joe Flaherty. Amanda. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, Sarah. Middleton. Lens. Hey, hey, hey. Cookies look delicious. I saw you guys posting over the weekend. Yeah. Hey, John H. Welcome. Hey, Chris B. <laughs> Ralph was the off-brand Ninja Turtle. Yeah, that's correct. Correct answer here is Ollie. Great job. Everybody that put D, you got yourself some points. If this was a real question. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> question number two. Uh, who was the first man to walk on the surface of the moon? Was it Alan Shepard, Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, or Jim Lovell? Lunar has a delicious beer named after this. Yeah. Isn't it a dark one? Pretty heavy one? It's like a strong ale. Mm. How are the potatoes looking? Good. Okay. I think we should see the broil for a few minutes because they're done. All right, everybody's in. Hey, Jess. All right, everybody's in. One small step for Taco, one giant leap for Taco. Uh, the correct answer here is Buzz Aldrin. No, <laughs> Neil Armstrong. One person put Buzz. Uh, Buzz Aldrin's my favorite astronaut because he punches <laughs> moon landing deniers in the face. Uh, correct answer was Neil Armstrong. That's a social right off the bat, everybody. Cheers. <sighs> Question number three. Name the hit 1987 film from its closing line. One thing about living in Santa Carla, I never could stomach all the damn vampires. What film gave us this closing line? Was it My Best Friend is a Vampire, The Lost Boys, Fright Night, or The Monster Squad? Vincent, we have discovered he's afraid of the bridges over the bay. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Vincent. I know. Oh. Well, tell him we said hi, please, Joe and Amanda. Tell him we said we love him and we, we miss, miss him. him. All right, everybody's in. I love this film. Do. Uh, the correct answer is The Lost Boys. Remember the, the gratuitous sex? Oh, you have you even seen it? Oh, yes. What does this movie need? A hot, sweaty man playing saxophone. Just like St. Elmo's Fire, though. But that was Rob Lowe with a crazy yeah, earring. A I also own that film. Uh, this is another social. Cheers, everybody. I love Spike. Just get this person. Yeah. I just realized he's probably drinking blood, right? Not coffee? Probably. Yeah. I just put the gift because I know everybody likes Spike. No, I, that's red. Yeah. Yeah, that's blood. All right, question four. The historic Battle of New Orleans was an engagement during which major U.S. conflict? Battle of New Orleans, in which major U.S. conflict? Was it the Spanish-American War, the American Revolution, the Civil War, or the War of 1812? It's Kool-Aid. Yeah, nice, slightly thick Kool-Aid. <laughs> hey, John Jay! Late, late to the game. Happy, uh, happy that you're here. Not too late, though. Yeah, just on time. For question three, so don't even worry about it. Oh, wait, question four. Real. All 
right. Everybody is in. Eight people said Spanish American War. Two people said the Civil War. Sixteen people said the War of eighteen twelve, and sixteen people were correct. The War of eighteen twelve. Yeah. Here's Pierre. Holding around the middle. I got him. Nice, chunky boy. All right. Question number five. What is the distinguishing characteristic of the delicious dish steak tartare? What is the distinguishing characteristic of steak tartare? Is it served with tartar sauce? It is a plant-based dish? It is made with the meat from a goat? Or it is meat served raw? Yeah. How you doing there, PP? Pierre, uh, we've discovered, has finally settled in and is just living his best life. So he wakes up at like 5.40 in the morning mm -hmm. and barks until we let him out of our room. And then he hangs out for a little bit and then he eats around 7. And then he goes back to bed until about noon or 12.30. Dream life. Then he wakes up, hangs around for a while, eats dinner, hangs out, and then goes to bed. He's enjoying it. That's my Go see your brother. Uh, everybody's in. I've had some delicious steak tartare. It is meat served raw. Meat served raw. So great job. Uh, everybody that put D, that's a social. Drinking the raw meat. Cheers. And with that, we've reached the first standings update. I'm going to throw the scores up on the screen. We'll go over all the scores this time. In the future, we'll just look at the top few. If you happen to be, uh, actually, I'm going to read them all out uh, this first time. So here we go. Currently in first, Mad Dad, my friend, welcome. In first place, Geralt of Trivia. In second, the Angelicas, Artie and Winnie. In third, we have Mert and Lernie in fourth, a Poo Poo and a PP in fifth. We have Team Cream in sixth. Janessa was a birthday princess. Sorry we missed trivia on your birthday, Janessa. That was the saddest part of canceling on Friday. I, I do apologize. Question number, a uh, rank, <laughs> God, Jesus. Currently in eighth place, Sorella Sand. Ninth is Boo. Tenth, at the Cookie Catastrophe. Is there a new social media we should be following? Are you guys on Instagram? Uh, JMO in 11th, the Spicy Meet the Balls. In 12th, a whole numero uno. In 13th, Laura Marie. 13th, in 14th. Emma in 15th. Uh, ooh, werewolves in lockdown in 16th. Lightning Thunder, eat crap in 17th. Becky's in 18th. Hail to the victors in 19th. Shoot me in a dream. Better wake up and apologize in 20th. Callie in 21st. Mama Lens in 22nd. Glove don't fit in 23rd. Kim in 24th. It's over, Bananakin in 25th. Joe and Paige plus Amanda in 26th. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Janessa yelled the loudest. No. Oh, no. All right. Here we go. Question number six. The magical, surreal skylines of cities like Dubai and Abu Dhabi belong to which Middle Eastern country? Which country would you find these cities in? Is it Saudi Arabia, Qatar, United Arab Emirates, or Bahrain? Oh, taco. Nice, comfy bed. Literally six inches away. But no. Just like uh, Winnie and Yeah, like here. Winnie. <laughs> hey, taco. Hey, taco. Hair blowing in, blowing in the breeze. <laughs> All right, everybody's in. The correct answer here is the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. Great job. 20 of you got points for that. You guys are doing very well overall through these beginning. We are on Instagram, but didn't post anything special. Oh, I just didn't. I, I don't think I follow you on Instagram yet. And I, I didn't know if you just started an Instagram because you added the at sign to the beginning of your team name. But I digress. I'm going down this hole. Question number seven. What 1970s classroom comedy featured a young John Travolta playing a character named Vinny Barbarino? Was it Welcome Back, Cotter, Room 222, Happy Days, or Please, Sir? 
<laughs> I'm really racking my brain on this question. <laughs> yeah, John, top-notch puns, my friend. Don't ever apologize. Yeah. I'm here for the puns. Oh, so is Becky. Hey, Becky. Uh, everybody's in. And almost a double social here. The correct answer is welcome back. Cotter. Cheers. Have you ever seen this show? Very, no, very the closest I've seen is when they do the Welcome Back Coxer on oh, Scrubs. Yeah. Question number eight. Uh, what is the English meaning of the Hebrew word Hanukkah? What is the e English meaning of the Hebrew word Hanukkah? Is it? Dedication, remembrance, celebration, or victory? All right, all right, all right. Missed opportunity for Iraqing my brain. <laughs> There's your next team name, Iraqing my brain. It's your son's birthday. Happy birthday, Logan! 19. What a great year. Happy 19th, my friend. All right. Everybody is in. Five people said dedication. 13 people said remembrance. Six people said celebration. One person said victory. The correct answer, our first upset of the evening, dedication. Dedication. Great job, the five of you that got that. Question number nine. This dance scene, speaking of John Travolta, from 1994's cult classic Pulp Fiction, takes place in what fictional eatery? What is the name of the restaurant that they are in for this dance scene? Is it Mel's Diner, the Frosty Palace, Jackrabbit Slims, or the Big Kahuna Burger? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Everybody's in. Eight people said Mel's Diner. Fourteen people said Jack Rabbit Slims. Fourteen people were correct. Jack Rabbit Slims. Cool fact they didn't win <laughs> with moves like that. Question number ten. There are around 1,500 active volcanoes on Earth. That's just a piece of trivia for you. Here's the question. Which of those volcanoes erupted in October of 2020? You only have to choose out of these four. Which of these four volcanoes erupted in October of 2020? Was it Mount Etna, Mauna Loa, Mount Vesuvius, or Mount Merapi? They were so close. Should have listed all 1,500. Yeah, scroll through. <laughs> uh, the correct answer here was Mount Etna in Italy. Mount Etna. Uh, let's do our standings updates. Mad Dad hanging on to first place. Emma in second. Team Cream in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We'll get into the next set of questions here in just a moment. We have more multiple choice questions coming up before we switch things up to the picture round in just a little bit. Pop, pop, pop. All right. Here we go. Question number 11. Oh, Becky, finally, a wrestling question. We're shirtless Dave, managed by Miss Elizabeth. Who did Hulk Hogan team up with in the late 1980s to form the Mega Powers? 
Was it the Ultimate Warrior, Ric Flair, the Macho Man Randy Savage, or Terry Funk? Oh, Miss Elizabeth. This is still my favorite, I think my favorite Halloween costume of all time. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. This or Quail Man. Oh, I liked cute. Quail Man too. Uh, the correct answer, let's see, two people each said the ultimate warrior and Ric Flair. Woo, the correct answer was the macho man, Randy Savage. Oh yeah, great job. That's a social, 81%. Cheers. A Downers Grove North alumni. For those of you in DuPage County. Question number 12. The comedy drama TV show Weeds aired on what premium cable network? This is the one you liked, right? No, you liked uh, Six Feet Under. Which show did you always try to get me to watch? Not Weeds. Anyway. Taylor Frank Nation? Uh, that might be it, too. Uh, <laughs> that one was an easier show. Weeds aired on what premium cable network? Was it Showtime, HBO, Stars, or Cinemax? No, what was the one with uh, Michael C. Hall? Is it Six Feet Under? Oh, yeah. 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 We, start, we watched, like, the first episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should keep watching Come on, shirtless Dave. Oh, he's at jujitsu with shirt wearing Warren. <laughs> what is? Would he be shirt or is he gi wearing Warren right now at jujitsu? Do they wear gis in jujitsu? Do you wear a gi in jujitsu? Just as it sound, no gi jujitsu is practiced without the gi. Oh, you don't have to wear a gi, but you can. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, anyway, I'm on 97 different tangents here. Shirt under a gi. Thank you, Becky. Uh, 23 people correctly said showtime. Cheers, everybody. We've had almost a record of socials tonight lately. Question number 13. Uh, not just a phrase said by Homer Simpson, the airport bearing the three-letter designation D-O-H, or DOH, is found in the capital of what Midi Middle Eastern nation? If you thought we were done with the Middle East, you were wrong. Where would you find D-O-H? Is it Qatar, United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, or Yemen? <laughs> Kays and no, dolls. <laughs> Oh, I love They're it. Pun games on Fire Snake Eye. Yeah. I'm loving the chat. You know what we started watching, speaking of TV shows from the last question, is The Office on Peacock. Um, with the you know that new show, The Office? I'm yeah, this new it. show, The Office. You ought to check <laughs> it out. Uh, on Peacock, they have the super fan episodes uh, where they added, rather than just having deleted scenes optional afterwards they added it back in as a as a full cut so you watch the show as one 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 regular show and the episodes now are like 35 36 37 minutes long 38, yeah. yeah uh <laughs> they're pretty long um and, and it's it's really crazy to see all the extra content so if you have peacock um anything other than the free level you can see those uh two people each said yemen 15 yemen road yemen Two people said Kuwait, six people said the United Arab Emirates, and 16 people correctly said Qatar. That's where our 2022 20, World Cup's going to be, right? Great job. Question number 14. Before running one of the largest American Ponzi schemes, defrauding investors of more than $300 million, Lou Perlman was a successful what? Was it an airline pilot, a music executive, a college football coach, or a dentist? Oh, he's dead. He died. I was just reading up on him here. He died in jail. No love lost. Oh, I don't know. Probably. Uh, the correct answer is music executive. 
uh, he, you know, you hate him for many things, but he's the reason you have the Backstreet Boys and In Sync. You wouldn't have them without him. But he was a horrible person. Question number 15, a critical part of the 1980 film Comedy. What kind of car did Jake and Elwood drive in the Blues Brothers? What kind of car was the Blues Mobile? Was it a Dodge Monaco, a Chrysler Imperial, a Chevrolet Caprice, or a Dodge Diplomat? Yes, we, he was a bad person. We're all aware of that, everybody. I was not saying he's not a bad person. You said he was a bad person. Yes. No one was saying he didn't. All right. Five people said a Dodge Monaco. Twelve people said a Chrysler Imperial. Six people said a Chevy Caprice. Two people said the Dodge Diplomat. The correct answer is the Dodge Monaco, not the Chrysler Imperial. It's a Dodge Monaco. Uh, you can see... Uh, they have a replica in many places around here. You can see this. Where did this. we just see one? Uh, out uh, near, near the Juliet. yeah near the Lincoln Abraham Lincoln Cemetery. Uh, question number sixteen: A delicacy in Japanese cuisine that also happens to be extremely poisonous. Fugu is what kind of fish? Fugu, what kind of fish? Is it archer fish, puffer fish, trigger fish, or candle fish? Yes. Yep. Thank you, uh, Mama Lens. I think it was, yeah. Thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, the I double checked this, uh, John, because I was surprised myself. A Bluesmobile, the Bluesmobile was a 1974 Dodge Monaco sedan. Yeah, uh, a decommissioned Mount Prospect police car. Mount Prospect, purchased by Elwood Blues at an auction, <laughs> with the speaker on top. Uh, everybody's in. Hey, double social. That's two drinks, my friends. Puffer fish. Make sure it's slaughtered correctly, or you die. Cheers. Not worth it. All right, everybody's in. Let's take a look at the standings. Angelica's Artie and Winnie are now in first. Taco guess, is out. My dark thoughts. I think, I guess maybe, maybe if I was, like, terminally ill and I thought I could pass that money along to my family. Then you would eat fugu? If I was going, if I was, if oh, I was at the end got of it. my life anyway. Yeah. Then it would be for purpose. Yeah, fair. Would you eat, my family could be taken. Would you eat steak tartare then? I would never eat. <laughs> Never. LOL. I've, I've had steak tartare and steak carpaccio. Carpaccio. I like it all. You know, I believe steak. <laughs> that, all right, my friends, we are moving on to the next round. Whoa. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Uh, we're moving on to the next round here. This round is the picture round. Uh, the major difference right now is that from this point on, you will no longer have multiple choice options on the screen. You will have to type in your answer. So be prepared for that. When the timer starts, you won't see options appear. You'll see a text box open up. You're going to type in your answer and hit submit before the timer runs out. As long as you get the answer in and you're correct, you earn 250 points. If you're wrong, you don't earn anything, but you don't lose anything. So do take a guess. Now, the next round coming up, as I mentioned, is a picture round. And that means for the next five questions, the question's going to be the same. What's going to change is a picture on the screen. This round has all to do with celebrities, but specifically young celebrities. These are child actors. I'm going to show you a picture of a famous child actor. You just have to tell me oh, their name. As long as your spelling is close, you'll get points. Don't worry too much about spelling, uh, but do try to get as close as you can. Uh, give me... Whenever possible, try to give me first and last name. Um, if you give me first and last name, if it's if it's a tougher one, if you just give me the first or the last name, I might give you points. Uh, but always give me as much information as you can to try and earn as many points as possible. So here we go. Question number 17. Name this famous child actor. Who this? 
Orange whip. Whip. Not to jinx it, but I like the idea of this. Thanks, Becky. I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, I got a bug bite. Mosquito. I saw a giant mosquito outside yesterday. All right, everybody's in. I'm going to need 20 minutes to check all the spellings on this. So, one sec. Yeah, this... <laughs> I, there were literally like 16 or 17 different ways that you all spelled <laughs> yeah, this. Uh, which the is fair. Name. Yeah, this is completely fair. The correct answer is Macaulay Culkin. And legally, his full name is now Macaulay Macaulay Culkin Culkin. He did a Twitter a survey asking people what he should change his middle name to. Uh, and the highest votes received was for Macaulay Culkin. So his name is Macaulay Macaulay Culkin Culkin. I know that Rory, uh, like, championed for his middle name to be changed to Rory. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, that's a double social, my friends. It's that's not often I that that happens. Culkin. On one of these. Oh my god, John. That's also like what I try to spell uh, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> oh god, Matthew McConaughey, you know what I'm going for. All right, question number. Yeah, Christiane, I, I had to choose my battle because I wanted one that I figured everybody would know, but it was a tough one to spell. <laughs> question 18 Name this child actor. This is also now an adult actor. So is Macaulay Culkin, to be fair. Almost everyone in this round went on to adult fame. Not everyone in this round went on to adult fame. No, not in a sad way. There's no River Phoenix in this round. Oh, yeah. No. I think it's funny. Thanks, Christiane. I appreciate that. Uh, everybody's in. Let's see. Oh, I can see where a few of you went here. This is not an Olsen. It's not a Barrymore. This is Dakota Fanning. Dakota Fanning. And 80% of you, that's enough for a social. Cheers, everybody. Ah, Dakota Fanning. All right, question number 19. Name this child actor. Probably could have started here. A little bit easier. A little bit easier to spell. <laughs> I've picked people with famous siblings. I did it once again, Becky. Another one with a famous sibling. Wow, maybe it says something about the industry that lots of child actors have famous siblings. Worried this is going to be... No, no, I didn't get too tricksy with you. I know. <laughs> Uh, Drew Barrymore is the youngest SNL host. Drew Barrymore hosted at seven years old. Oh, my God. How about pressure? Yeah. Uh, he might be the youngest actor host. She was the youngest actress. Yeah, she was in 1982. So this was right after E.T., I'm guessing. She hosted. Uh, and Betty White is the oldest. She did it... <laughs> At 88 uh -huh. in 2010. Yeah. She was 88 in 2010. Maybe she'll do it one more time. I don't see why she wouldn't. Uh, everybody's in. Somebody said Fred Savage. Winnie, why'd you break his heart? Uh, the correct answer is Fred Savage. Ben Savage, the younger. Boy meets world. Uh, all right, question number 20. Name this child actor. When Betty White hosted, oh they did a CSI spoof. Said, oh, that's awesome. That's funny. Yeah. I love stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Jess, I spoke too soon and got the wrong brother. Uh-oh. Remember the episode of Boy Meets World where he played a creepy? Oh, yeah. Jess, yeah. You know, I've been watching uh, The Flash on CW, and there's just no mention of the fact that Stephen Amell... Uh, is the arrow and his brother Robbie plays like another major character on the flash. They look exactly alike mm -hmm. and it's just never brought up that they look exactly alike. That's funny. Everybody's in my favorite drink when I was underage. 
to feel like I was older. A Shirley Temple. Oh, they're delicious. Hey, a double social for this. Great job, everybody. Two drinks for Shirley Temple. All right, final one. Toughest one of the round. Name this child actor. Who this? Everybody's in. Got it, got it. <laughs> uh, this is not Gary Coleman. What you talking about, Willis Kid? This is Emmanuel Lewis. This is Webster. Webster. Emmanuel Lewis. And I'll give this to the last name here. Uh, great job. If you put Emmanuel Lewis, you got points. Mad Dad still in first. Shoot me in a dream. Better wake up apologizing <laughs> in second. Sorella Sand in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We're going to move into the final round here in just a moment. All right, all right, all right. We're going on to the last round. This is no longer a picture round, but you do still have to type your answer in. These questions are random, all sorts of categories, all sorts of difficulty. Worth 300 points each. Once again, as long as your answer is close, I will do my best to give you points. Spelling is not that important. Just make sure that it's close. Here we go. <laughs> How am I supposed to know what Shirley Temple looks like? <laughs> Question 22. What animal has the longest tongue relative to its no. overall size? It's not a goat. What animal has the longest tongue relative to its overall size? What's your guess? Mm -mm. Good guess. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Literally, the first two answers that came in were your guesses. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait. There's a Shirley Temple King, a kid on Instagram that goes and rates Shirley Temple's, like, cocktails. <laughs> that's really cute. Oh, that's incredible. You know what? Um, GIF. Okay, so keep this GIF in your head, and I'm just going to... Uh, put another gif up really quick. Anybody guess what I'm going to put up? Uh-huh. What? Gina. <laughs> yeah, Gina knew. <laughs> because I feel like those gifs were used side by side. Yeah. I didn't, yeah. I'm pretty sure I posted the goat gif during the Super Bowl when this was happening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody's in. So the trick here is that uh to have an overall relative longer tongue a smaller animal might seem an easier guess i i'm gonna put this one up on the screen before i correct it just because i feel like this person accidentally tried to get two guesses in uh down at the bottom the bottom i know that you were going for chameleon but you got camel in there too so i feel like if camel was the correct answer you would have also gotten points so props off to the props to this person hats off to this person yeah chameleon uh the correct answer is chameleon and uh somebody did just remind me middleton lens <laughs> oh where's i think they thank you Oh, here's the other gift. The other tongue gift. Here's the answer. Oh, what? Oh, God. You that gift. Uh, 
it was Chameleon. Yeah, no, I got you, Maribeth. You got points for that. Don't you even worry. I just love how, how it could have been Camel or Chameleon. Uh, Anteater and Giraffe were both uh, Gina's first guesses, too. So interesting. I know they do have, uh, especially an Anteater, has a long tongue. But overall, relativity there. Uh, Chameleon, the correct answer. Ooh, the champagne. Question 23. Who is the only man to have been both Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court and President of the United States? Who is the only person in history to have been Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court and President of the United States? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Me? You. Uh, let me just... Uh, Alright, everybody's in. Just switch up this GIF for you really quick. Uh, <laughs> the correct answer here is, get the butter, William H. Taft. Taft, the correct answer. Gear 8 job. Over half of you got that right. I thought that was a pretty tough one. Taft, correct answer. Question 24. What element on the periodic table of the elements is named after the Greek word for green? That's the question. What element on our periodic table of elements is named after the Greek word for green? Everybody's in. <laughs> what the fuck? Somebody said my big fat elemental wedding. <laughs> That's funny. I know. I love it. Oh. Remember that movie? Mom, he's a vegetarian. That's okay. I'll make a lamb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chlorophyll? More like borophyll. The correct answer is chlorine. Chlorine. Uh, question 25. What is the longest muscle in the human body? What is the longest muscle in the human body? Chlorophoroquine. <laughs> I was running out of time and I thought of the chameleon on the Masked Singer. We haven't watched this Masked Singer yet. Oh, this guy right here. Love it, Joe. We haven't. We should watch this uh, last season of Masked Singer. But we don't have yeah, YouTube TV. Fun. Did we ever find out? If that Russian nesting doll was who we thought it was? Mm -hmm. I was not part of that conversation. I was working. Oh, have they not even been announced yet? Uh, anyway... correcting some of your answers here <laughs> depends on if you're male or female the love muscle remember um never mind the correct answer is the sartorius it's not the hamstring sorry the sartorius runs on the inside of the leg uh, from quite up high to quite down low. The Sartorius. All right, that's question 25. So here's a look at the standings. Mad Dad's in first. Shoot me in a dream. Better wake up apologizing in second. Emma in third. Look at Taco using that as a pillow. Oh, here. Somebody finally settled down. Cutie. Hey, Pierre. That person is optimistic, yes. The Russian dolls were eliminated. Yeah, don't spoil it. Sorry, I didn't even mean to make that a spoil opportunity. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it it was who we thought. But don't say it out loud. All right. Uh, here we go. Question number 20 and 6. Uh, who painted the water lily pond in 1899? Who painted the water lily pond in 1899? What famous painter gave us the water lily pond in 1899? Aww. You like those. Well, I would like to go to there. Okay. Here. Here. Help under the cage of my own making. He loves laying in that crate. It's crazy. Arnold's going to hit himself in his face with his pecs. Yeah, he probably could have. Oh, I just saw Sarah's on my bot. It's definitely like glutes. I, know, that's <laughs> I just saw that, Sarah. Uh, everybody's in. Let's take a look. Jean-Claude Claude Monet. <laughs> Claude Monet is the correct answer. If you just said Monet, that's okay. You got points as well. 76% uh, of you will call that a social in this round. Great job, everybody. Drinking some Sound and Vision by Noon Whistle Brewing Company. Delicious. Question number 27. At over 10 feet. What bird has the largest wingspan? That's the question. Over 10 feet, what bird has the largest wingspan? Everybody's in. Correct answer here is the albatross. The albatross. Albatross. Uh, I think the condor is up there, though. Yeah, the wandering albatross. And then the great white pelican. Imagine that. Uh, the southern royal albatross, the Dalmatian pelican, that's adorable. The Tristan albatross, the Amsterdam albatross. So albatross is, is ruling the category, but the Andean condor is in the top ten. So don't feel bad if you put condor. All right, Operation Condor, Jackie Chan, let's go. Question number 28. What famous battle took place on July 1st to July 3rd, 1863? What famous battle took place July 1st to July 3rd, 1863? All right. Great White Pelican versus Great White Shark. Who wins? We win. That'd be a great fight. Christiane, I'm just catching up on comments. I don't get to look uh, as often as I'd like. You cycle through the same four presidents. That makes sense. I haven't asked a question about Justin Trudeau in a while. I have, though. But I haven't asked about another anybody else from Canadian government. Another anybody? <laughs> yeah, any, anybody else from Canadian government ever. So maybe I'll bring something in next week. Uh, the correct answer here is <laughs> the struggle with the gene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's every morning. The correct answer is Gettysburg. Gettysburg. Yeah, seriously. Uh, all right. Question number... Yeah, Battle of the Bastards here. Question number 29. In Greek mythology, who gave fire to mankind? He wasn't supposed to. What have you done? Who gave fire to mankind in Greek mythology? Uh, 
Alright, everybody's in. The correct answer here is... <laughs> Somebody said Billy Joel. Uh, it's not Billy Joel. It's not Hades. It's not Apollo, Icarus, Atlas. It is Prometheus. He paid for it. Prometheus. I know much less about Prime Minister, so please read that. Ah, thanks, Christiane. I won't then. <laughs> yeah, Chris, I'm all over these funny answers. All right, question 30. What is the largest island in the contiguous 48 states? So not counting Alaska or Hawaii. What is the largest island in the United States? Island. Billy Joel did not start the fire. Yeah, were you even listening to the song? Just done with hard pants, I think. <laughs> I only own one pair of jeans and I haven't worn them. Well, I guess I did wear them recently. Well, look who's awake. <laughs> What's up, dude? Roaming around, hanging out. Okay, bye. All right, everybody's in. <laughs> Lawn Guy Land. Uh, the correct answer is Long Island. Long Island. The largest, the longest, whatever. Long Island. All right, final question, my friends. Number three. In which country is the Great Victoria Desert? In which country would you find the Great Victoria Desert? I didn't want to give anything away with my awesome accents. Aussie, 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 oi, 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 Australia is the correct answer, mate. Australia. Ah, great job, 88% of you, that's a social. A social to end the game. Cheers, everybody. Now, all we have left to do is look at the standings. Before we do, let me just say thank you one more time for being here tonight. Uh, thank you. To Mama Lens for that donation. We really appreciate it. We will be back on Friday for more online trivia. Friday at 9 p.m. Central. General knowledge trivia just like tonight. Until then, if you are out and about in the Chicagoland area, there are a lot of opportunities to play trivia in person. Lots of breweries and restaurants in the suburbs and in the city. So please check us out. Begatrix.com or on the Facebook page. Uh, with that said, thank you everybody for being here tonight. Here are the final Standings in first place, Mad Dad. In second, shoot me in a dream, better wake up and apologize. And third, the Angelica's Artie and Winnie. Everybody else, you can see exactly where you're at on the screen there. Thank you all for being here tonight. Until next time, be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have fun down in Florida. Joe Flaherty and Amanda and tell Vincent we said hi and Paige as well. Everybody else, have a good night. See you next time. Bye-bye.